Hi, this is George and welcome back to the LinkedIn course. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to continue optimizing your LinkedIn profile. Let me actually expand this bit here. We're going to continue optimizing your LinkedIn profile by editing your summary section. Actually, no, I'm sorry, not the summary section. First, we're going to do the number of job position in your experience area. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, the experience area is uh, I'm, all, I'm on my LinkedIn profile and if I scroll down the experience area is this part this place that says experience and this is where you can add positions uh, basically your previous jobs the current roles that you hold in your business etc uh, etc et okay so let's take a look to see what the what the tips are here so the more keywords that you have in the title and company fields what I mean by title and company fields this is a title field this is a company field again further down this is a title field this is a company field okay further down this is a title field this is a company field further down this is a title field this is a company field okay so the more keywords remember we talked in the last lecture about keywords what your ideal clients are probably searching for in search engines such as Google and LinkedIn the more of such keywords you have right so you may actually one great assignment for you is to write down first on a separate document all the keywords that your ideal clients are looking for on Google and LinkedIn and you're gonna be guessing at first and you're gonna hope we're gonna refine those keywords by by searching on LinkedIn looking at other people's profiles and notice what phrases and words they use but you also refine your uh, your keywords by just working with your clients and noticing what kinds of um, needs that they keep asking you about what kinds of goals that they keep uh, asking you to help them achieve okay okay so the more of those keywords are in the t the job title and the company name uh, the more you're going to be found on LinkedIn because the LinkedIn search engine greatly prioritizes the job title and the company name it, it, it I would say that from 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 my research they most prioritize the the professional headline keywords and then secondly they prioritize the um, the the keywords and the job title and company name okay so be sure to, to be aware of that and then having so given that LinkedIn prioritizes the keywords and those things having more job positions on your experience area would therefore be beneficial and you might say well George how can I add more jobs than I've held and here's what I mean by that is if you have held for example in a previous job let's say you have been in um, you were in a, in a particular manager position let's say you were managing uh, human resources and then you uh, shifted in that company to, to not mark to doing more marketing management or more you know some kind of a uh, operations management or something those be those you can add as two separate positions on LinkedIn because those were two separate roles that you held now if you held that role for only a week you know or only a month that might not be worth putting on LinkedIn but if you held that role for several months and certainly several years that would be that would be worthwhile to separate out in your LinkedIn profile so you have more keywords that are being on, you have more keywords on your profile okay same thing in your business if you have held multiple roles significant roles write those roles out uh, also here are some more ideas of things to add <clears throat> talked about previous employment current employment if you have more than one service in your business consider adding them as separate positions so for example or if you have more than one program like a, more than one coaching program so for example in the past I used to do two separate coaching programs in one business I used to train people on social media so that was my social media training program and I also used to coach people on how to run webinars so that was my webinar method coaching program so those were two separate positions on my LinkedIn and you can see uh, and okay another example is I have a podcast and I build community as a, around that podcast so that's a separate role I have currently in my business um, also I run my coaching program my one-to-one -one business and marketing coaching program and I even put my coaching programs name as the company name now when I do this okay when I when I edit the company name okay when I when I edit the company name and click Save 
Sometimes LinkedIn is going to ask me, do I want, it's not doing that right now, but sometimes it's going to ask me, do I want to set up a company page? Now, my opinion on this is that it's not really worth setting up a company page unless you're going to keep that company page active. A company page is like a separate profile, except it's for your company. Uh, I don't recommend setting up a company page for a product or a service. The way that LinkedIn's company pages are set is it's supposed to be a company and multiple people who work at that company will add that company page as part of their profile. So that's really the company pages are really designed for medium to larger companies that are trying to recruit more people into their company. So people who are potential candidates for that company will go to that company page, follow that company, see what positions are available, that kind of, and contact the people who are in that company for inf informational interviews. That's really what it's for. And of course, recruiters can go to that company page and follow that, et cetera. But it's, uh, for, for those of us who are solopreneurs or really tiny businesses, it's, I, I don't know, I don't think it's worth setting up a company page, in my opinion, because it's another thing to manage. And not that many people will follow your company pages because it's not a household name yet. So I like to use the company page um, uh, field for my program, my coaching programs. Or the, if I wrote a book, that would be you know, author, and then the book title would be the, 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 where the company page uh, field is. Okay, further down, as you can see, a founder. So this, is, this was a project that I ran for 10 months. That's a significant amount of time in my business, and I, I, I invested a significant amount of energy into that project. So, so I put that as a separate program. I also ran a project for another company called the Shift Network. So I put that here, and I used the company. So as you can see, change company. This was actually a... Um, see, when I, when I put in, when I start putting in the company name, right? and I put in the shift network, it will give me a listing of all the available company pages. So I selected the right one because I recognize their logo and then I click save. And so now when people come to my profile, they will see the logo for the company associated with this position. Make sense? And they can, they can even hover over this and follow the company or I, I'm already following. So if I click here, I would stop following, but I, I want to follow this company. So uh, scroll down further. Your highest work was my previous business name, and so I was running that for about a year but under that name, and so I kind of put some keywords of the roles I held in that company, in that business. Uh, and it, you know, each of these roles was quite similar for me, so I put them in one position. Uh, another kind of business project that I was creating was called the Wisdom Business Alliance, and I ran that for about a year. Uh, so you, as you can see, one of the things that I have learned, and I hope you'll learn as well, in entrepreneurship, it's about experimenting more. Good entrepreneurship is about experimenting more, learning from your experiments, and further on experimenting more. So you can see in my job positions, I've experimented a lot with different projects, right? One year here, one year here, and I learned a lot as a result. See, Webinar Method Coaching Program, there it is. Webinar Method Coach serving consultants, clients. So here I'm putting in more keywords so that you know, those who are looking for that kind of person will, will tend to find me. My program name is there as in the company name. And then again, my social media program was in a separate, uh, separate position. Okay? Other things that you might want to use, as I mentioned, if, you haven't, if you're an author, if you've written a book or several books, if you've written more than one book, those can be separate positions on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, if you've been a creator or host of a major event of some kind, a telesummit, a conference, a workshop you run on ongoingly, that can be a separate position, the name of your workshop. You know, and what you do in that, you know, the title is, you know, uh, workshop, host, coach, you know, sort of some, some rules that you play within that workshop, teacher, etc. If you are a frequent guest blogger on a well-known website that people in your industry would, would recognize, you might want to put that in a set, as a separate position as well. So this is so important. That's why I wanted to, to kind of spend extra time on this. In the next lecture, we will talk about what to write in your summary section, which is one of the first things people look at when they come and, and look at your LinkedIn profile. So I'll see you in that lecture.